This is John Tucci with Lake Savers and Aeration Tech. We're here at one of our projects in the eastern part of the United States. We're actually here on a weekend where they're reenacting some of the famous battles of the Civil War. And we've got a battle of our own going on right now in uh, early July uh, on this 100 acre lake. And the battle is uh, uh, with blue green algae. And so uh, you can see in the foreground one of our lake bottom patent pending diffusers uh, really moving lots and lots of water to the surface, oxygenating this part of the lake. And uh, it'd be a little tough to see, but as I look down, you're probably, you may be able to see some little coagulating green clumps in the water. And that is actually blue green algae. And when it coagulates like this, it's a sign that it's actually starting to die and clump together and you can even see might be tough to see in the video but you can even see where around each of our diffusers in the deeper part of the lake there is uh, literally a, a margin or an edge where you can see the diffuser uh, producing clear water uh, in, a, in a big circle around it and then uh, kind of fighting off this clumping blue green algae at the margin and so we're on a lake here where uh, last summer at this time and from about mid-June through uh, October or, or September, uh, this lake had uh, complete blue-green algae, green slime coverage throughout the entirety of the lake. And we are uh, right in the heart of the season here. and. Uh, much better uh, condition of this lake from this time last year. Still a long way to go. Um, the aeration system is doing a great job of oxygenating and uh, reducing some of the water column nutrient that drives the growth of this uh, blue-green algae. But we're out here today also deploying a new product we've developed uh, called Nutrizorb Fast Acting. Uh, which, uh, based on our lab tests, has shown the ability to very quickly reduce total phosphorus and orthophosphorus by over 50%. Um, and even as it settles down to the bottom in our lab testing, we were seeing reductions in sediment phosphorus of over 60%. So the next few weeks will tell the tale, but as of right now, we're in much better condition on this lake than last year, and we've literally thrown everything we have at it. We've got the best aeration technology um, working away for the last uh, eight months or so. We've implemented some filtration projects on their main storm drains entering the lake. We've added beneficial bacteria, which is showing tremendous rate of reduction of organics on the bottom, and now we've uh, we've uh, added our Nutrisorb fast acting product to try and uh, take out the water column nutrients even further that uh, have spiked as a result of heavy rains this spring. So great project, great example of what it takes to restore a lake. It's certainly not a quick fix and it takes a lot of tools. It's not just about dropping an aeration system into the lake and walking away. It's a process uh, that uh, requires constant innovation and the use of data to uh, to really drive uh, the right strategies to keep on top of this growth. Again, John Tucci with Lake Savers and Aeration Tech. If you'd like to learn more about our approach for natural lake management and restoration, give us a call at 269-383-3400 or email us at info at lake-savers.com. Thanks. See you next time with another great lake restoration story.